Yo guys, Spiderbite here, and I want to talk to you a little bit today about sort of what my hopes and expectations are for the next Black Ops 2 DLC Zombies map, hopefully to be released in the next month or two. I don't know guys, I have some thoughts, and, and really I've been thinking about this quite a bit after having gone through some of the older maps uh, during my 500,000 subscriber marathon, as well as playing some of the recent uh, custom Zombies ma uh, maps that have been just released, uh, particularly, you know, just look at uh, Dale's Dock and with all the stuff that uh, these custom map ma makers have been able to do with the original World at War tools. Keep in mind, these guys never had the Black Ops 1, Treyarch never released Black Ops 1 or, and will not be releasing Black Ops 2 mod tools for custom zombies. So it's all based off of the World at War mod tools. And these guys have gone the extra mile. I mean, mind you, we have a bunch of people that spend a lot of time on this i mean obviously treyarch's very driven they have to stay focused and and you know put out a map and, and then they're done whereas you know these guys on, on the custom side have been at it for years right but still I, I i have a certain i have some certain ideas and some certain certain things that i'd like to get off my chest as far as what i don't like with the current zombie situation um just thinking back and and going back in my mind to maps in Black Ops. I mean, you can go back to World at War. Doris, I mean, I think people played the shit out of that map. I mean, you could go back, I could go back to that map right now and have a ton of fun and play it, you know, every day for the next week and still have a ton of fun on it. The same thing, I think, can go for maps like Kino, even Ascension. I know Ascension can get boring, but you can do different things on it. And Ascension, it's a solid map. Kino is an absolutely solid map. It's a fun map. Are they easy maps? Absolutely, yes, they are easy maps, but they're a freaking shitload of fun to play on. Um, I'll even go so far as to say the rest of the Black Ops 1 maps, like uh, Call of the Dead, which I just finished recording for the 500,000 subscriber thing. That's a fantastic map. There's a lot to it. Uh, the only thing that ruins that map is George. I really just cannot stand, I despise George on that map. He's just so freaking annoying. If he wasn't on that map, it would be an absolutely fantastic map, uh, Call of the Dead. Even Shangri-La, I mean, Shangri-La has some different things and, and some of the different uh, boss zombies. It's a pretty solid, decent map, as well as, um, you know, Moon's pretty cool as well. But I, I the, the way they've gone with um, with Transit and with Die Rise, and Die Rise isn't as bad, but Transit, it just takes, again, it takes forever to do anything. It's not fun. It's going in there, and you know you're going to spend a half an hour just set, just setting up and, and tra you know, going on the bus and, and traveling from point to point. You know, I, I do appreciate and understand that they want to incorporate new things. You know, you have the, the bus and you have the, the tra that travel system, so to speak. Um, you know, even these persistent perks, but persistent perks... I, even even at that, I, some of them are fine, but I really dislike the persistent jug. I mean, it makes it too easy. These these maps, uh, transit and die rise. Not only are they long, do they take long to get set up, uh, but they're super easy because you have this persistent jug. I mean, if you have it, you're good till round 15. I mean, if you go down before round 15, it's you know you're doing something wrong, right? It, it's I don't know. Um, some of the other things that I wanted to go over first, though, were with regards to the ranking system. And I don't know if necessarily a, a ranking system has been good for zombies. I know I hear a lot of complaints about people not even wanting to play game modes. And I know myself, I don't really enjoy the turn game mode. But I know people out there would play it, but it impacts their rank. They get downed X number of times. Every time they get downed as the human... I guess, or a zombie, then, then that counts as a down against them. It counts against their rank, supposedly. Uh, or at least, even if it doesn't, uh, the perception is that it does. So that has that really, you know, impacted that game mode? And even in general, I mean, we're not no longer going in to have fun. I don't know if people, if you can actually get downed and then people just uh, dashboard or whatever or exit right out of the game so they don't get that down recorded. I'm not sure when and where it records. But I know people have been complaining about people in public matches just downing themselves and, and, and backing out of the game entirely or dashboarding or whatever and it's game over or, you know, you're continuing on with fewer players. Um, 
Die Rise, Die Rise is better. I think uh, I think they went a bit better with Die Rise from Transit, but still, even so, the you know I appreciate the inclusion of verticality, but it's such a pain in the ass to travel on these elevators. And I think they they patched it so that the zombies are a little less aggressive when you're on top of the elevator because I mean that's the only way you can get up and down to certain levels is going on the elevator. And you got a zombie on there, he's just chasing you around, swatting you and uh, it's just a huge pain in the ass. Not only do you have to wait for the elevators, but then you have to, you know, travel up and down them and, and build build the uh, components. And buildables are fine. I'm fine with buildables. This is just when you got to travel up and down the elevator. It takes you, you know, 10 minutes to, to complete a buildable just because you're waiting for the elevators. Uh, it's kind of silly in my opinion. Um, whereas, again, going back to those yes, easy maps... And are these maps in Black Ops 2 easy because of these persistent perks? Yes. I mean, it makes it super easy to play these maps, at least around 15. Um, going back to the other maps, the simpler, you know, I, I'd, I'd almost call it a simpler design, which was a lot more fun, which was more, um, had more longevity. People played it for longer. Again, can go back to any one of those maps. You know, if I think about going back to and playing a map, um... You know, I think about, okay, let's go play Kino. Yeah, we can play some, some cool stuff on Kino. Or, or Ascension, or, or, or Doris, even, right? And then, if I think try and think the same thing with regards to Transit, I'm like, uh, you know, you start hearing that groan in, in the back of your head. It's like, uh, I don't really want to play that, because this is going to take me a half an hour just to get set up with, uh, with everything. Sorry, I dropped the pen. With everything uh, we need. All right, so let's talk about some specifics that I'd like to see from Treyarch in the next Zombies map. One is just coming back to basics a little bit. Um, maybe a more basic map design. I mean, the map can be large, but it can still be a, a more basic map design where we're, we don't have to wait around to do things, okay? Yes, you always have to wait to build points and etc. But, you know, we don't have to wait... Uh, half a minute or a minute or whatever each time we want to go down a floor or up a floor in an elevator and we don't have to wait for the bus I know you can run from spot to spot but even then on transit going from spot to spot you're, you're spending at least a minute or more traveling from one location to another so get rid of all that go back to a more basic map design where we can get around we can easily get around to places yes we have to build points to open doors big deal you can have verticality stairs whatever as long as we can get around maybe you have flingers right the flingers are a good idea or have other ideas incorporate other ideas but you know it, we can get around the map we don't have to wait for shit to happen every single time we want to get from one location to another okay that's that's point number one um point number two is bring back some sort of variety with with the the perks i mean you can bring back uh, some of the perks that uh, that we haven't seen like PhD flopper bring back PhD flopper uh, Put it on the map. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's something that you have to uh, Construct or buy or, or whatever you can still only have four perks and, and maybe get additional perks in some other fashion um, But and make it a little bit more difficult. I think the ease with getting additional perks on uh, die rise for instance, it just makes it a little too easy. Um, I'd get rid of I get rid of who's who, to be honest. I mean, who's who in combination with Quick Revive is just, again, a little too overpowered. I mean, it was a nice idea, but I just, I, I don't know. I mean, you have who's who and it, you just revive yourself. I mean, it's pretty easy, even if you're running solo, to, uh, to round up those zombies and then revive yourself and you're back and, and running. And then the next minion round, you get your who's who back, right? So I'd, I'd like to see that gone, but uh, bring back the other perks, maybe introduce a couple of other ones. Uh, the next item is getting, you know, I wouldn't say getting rid of the persistent perks entirely. There are a couple of cool ones that are fine, you know, like the Steel Barricades one, uh, for instance, the, the Deadshot Daiquiri one that, um, you know, people have sort of coined as Deadshot Daiquiri persistent perk. Get rid of Persistent Jug, get rid of, I, I know there's this one there, um, uh, where you get uh, points back at the machine or something. Uh, get rid of that. That's, you know, whatever. You get points and, and buy your perks. You don't, We don't need that. Uh, the Persistent Jug definitely have to get rid of. Uh, the, that insta-kill one, I don't know. I mean, it's it's one of those. You get an insta-kill, 
I don't know. I, I, I really don't see the use in some of these. Um, but definitely that, that persistent jug is, is a big is a big one that really just needs to go. Uh, just making it super easy in the first 15 rounds on any map. Um, and other game modes. I mean, again, Treyarch came out in Black Ops 2 saying, yeah, we took the game engine and we moved it from the campaign engine to the multiplayer engine. And yes, you have, you know, they have implemented things that are applicable to the multiplayer engine with the additional tracking, with the ranking systems. Uh, they added grief mode and, and turn mode. Turn mode, again, that was a, it's a fail. Honestly, that is a fail. That could have been made so much better having more maps and, and tweaking that, I think, in my opinion, anyways. Um, but incorporate additional game modes. I mean, again, take a cue, and, and Treyarch has taken cues from a lot of these custom maps. They have taken ideas and implemented them into into their uh, into their maps. You know, even even with the uh, the double uh, double pack of punching. I mean, get rid of the attachments. Make it you know go to like proper tree where you're double pack of punching and it's a gold gun and it has different characteristics. It has more ammo, uh, whatever. Instead of this this, you know, I, I don't know if it was just added sort of piecemeal with the um, with the attachments because they're useless they, these attachments are useless in zombies and actually identify you know the price when you go to pack a punch it the second time identify it's the 2,000 price instead of the 5,000 but I would definitely like to see some of those other game modes incorporated I mean the game modes that have existed in multiplayer at least since Black Ops 1 uh, like the gun game that they put into into that UGX mod um, or a variation of that or make a you know a free-for-all type game mode kind of like grief But it's it's free-for-all and at the end of the game whoever has the most points wins or, or team-based or whatever I, I there's so many so many options and opportunities to introduce other game modes uh, But definitely as far as the map design bring it back to a more basic map design I mean it can be big you can incorporate cool things into the maps and, and you did throughout black ops 1 do more of that all right, and, and make the maps fun to play. I mean, Die Rise is probably, I think the, the consensus would be Die Rise is more fun to play than Transit. But again, it's still not, I don't, in my opinion, I don't think it's nearly as fun, either of those maps or any of the other survival maps. I mean, Nuketown is there. Nuketown is a pretty good design. I would have liked to have seen uh, an underground part of Nuketown because it is fairly small. But again, it's, it's a solid map design. It's fun to play um, and you don't have to wait for stupid things to happen in order to get to locations or to do certain things. So that's just my thought uh, on a few items here with regards to Black Ops 2 and where the Zombies maps can go in the future in DLC. I know they're already working on it, but uh, hopefully for DLC Pack 3, um, or at least maybe they've uh, considered some of these things that people have brought to light since the release of Black Ops 2, as well as the release of Die Rise over a month ago on xbox but we'll see we'll see what's in store we should have some info within the next couple of weeks i would hope on a dlc pack number two of black ops 2 what do you think guys uh do you have any other things that you'd like uh, treyarch to try and incorporate into the next zombies map in the next dlc or dlc 3 or dlc 4 for that matter let us know in the comments what you guys think if you agree with me or not doesn't matter just leave your opinion and uh we'll uh, have a little discussion i'm spotter and i'm out